Now in this first question, we're given the following histogram about the delay in minutes for various motorists. And we've got to fill in these two rows here. Now to do this, what we've got to remember is that frequency density is equal to frequency divided by class width. And if you were to rearrange this equation, frequency would equal frequency density multiplied by class width, which is fundamentally the area of each of these blocks. You can check it out on the first one here. You can see that it says the delay in minutes from 4 to 6. You've got to be careful here though because it's continuous data and it's really going, in this case because it's measured to the nearest minute we're told, it's going from 3.5 to 6.5. So if you're going from 3.5, let's just mark it in here, 3.5 to effectively 6.5, your width, instead of being two units, is really three units. And you can see that if you go three units across there and the frequency density is two, two times three is six. And you've got your six there for the frequency. So to fill in from seven to eight, the lower bound on this one would be 6.5. The upper bound would be 8.5 a width not of one unit but of two units. So when we look at the frequency density in this bar here, you can see that it's up to seven. So you've got seven for the frequency density times the width of two units is going to give us 14. I'll just put the working there, seven times two, which we know is 14, okay. And for the 16 to 21, again, you've got a lower bound here of 15.5 and an upper bound of 20.5. So again, instead of a width of four units, you've got a width of five units. And how far does this go up on the frequency density? Just to the one, okay? So we know that this one would be one times the class width which we said was five, so that's going to equal a frequency of five. Okay, well that's the first part done for you, okay?